This country is considered the only Polynesian country to never have been colonized by a foreign power. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we are diving into the captivating world of Tonga, a Polynesian kingdom nestled in the heart of the South Pacific. Stick around until the end to learn more about this country's fascinating geography, history, and culture. Tonga is an archipelago nation of over 170 islands situated about 800 kilometers or 497 miles east of Fiji. It lies south of the Samoa Islands, so it's quite isolated in the vast Pacific Ocean. The total land area of Tonga is about 748 square kilometers or 288 square miles spread across 36 of the largest islands. These islands are geographically located to the east of the Kermatic and Fiji Plateau. The islands of Tonga consist of limestone and volcanic islands with raised coral formations. Most of the islands have a limestone base formed from uplifted coral formations and lack continental rocks. They have a central volcanic core with rich volcanic soil great for growing crops. The exceptions are Niuafo'u and Tafahi, which have no volcanic features and are raised coral islands with thick limestone. The highest point in Tonga is the 1,030 meter or 3,379 feet Mount Talao on the island of Vava'u. Being so close to the equator and surrounded by oceans, Tonga has a tropical climate year round with wet and dry seasons. The wettest months are December through April, when the average temperature is about 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The coolest and driest season is during June through August, when average temperatures are a lovely 24 degrees Celsius or 75 degrees Fahrenheit. About 97% of the over 106,000 residents of Tonga identify as ethnic Tongans. They are Polynesian people with light brown skin, dark hair, and brown eyes on average. The remaining 3% is made up of European, Chinese, and other Pacific Islanders who immigrated more recently. Tongan and English are the official languages of Tonga. Tongan is a Malayo-Polynesian language with only about 110,000 native speakers worldwide. The younger generations tend to speak English more commonly for business, while daily life revolves around the Tongan language. Christianity is the predominant religion today, with Protestants making up the majority at 64%, including Methodists and Mormons. Catholics make up 16%, while the Wesleyan Church of Tonga has grown to over 20% of the population. Before missionary contact in the 19th century, Tongan religion was animism mixed with ancestor worship. Some Tongan hymns still retain themes from their rich folklore history. The tropical Pacific islands of Tonga offer some delicious culinary treats perfectly suited for a sunny beachside lifestyle. These are some of the top authentic dishes you have to try in Tonga. Ota Ika, a raw fish salad, is a local Tongan favorite. It is marinated in coconut milk, lime juice, onions, and tomatoes. The creamy, citrusy seafood dish is often also served alongside starchy cassava, or taro root vegetables, known as kumara. Keke pua'a, these savory pork buns, make a fantastic picnic or beach food. Slow-cooked pulled pork is combined with onions, carrots, and cabbage, then wrapped up in a soft steamed bun for a quick tasty bite with island vibes. Faikakai topa. If you have a sweet tooth, then you must try topai, a beloved coconut and cinnamon dough dumpling dessert. The fried sweet pastry balls are made with sticky rice and banana paste, then coated in sugar and dripping with syrupy goodness. For heartier main meals, loose sippy tender lamb and potatoes slow cooked all day in an underground earth oven can't be missed. 
The smoky meat and herbs infuse together for special community feasting occasions, bringing people together through food. The earliest settlers of Tonga were Lapita pottery makers from coastal Melanesia over 3,000 years ago. They practiced agriculture and fishing. Over the ensuing centuries, Polynesians from Samoa immigrated and integrated with the native Lapita culture, contributing to the development of Proto-Tongan society. Oral histories trace the royal line back a millennium with the establishment of the Tu'i Tonga Empire. The first European to make contact with Tongans was English explorer James Cook in 1773, not on the island of Tafahi, but on the island of Tongatapu. Missionaries began arriving in Tonga in the 1790s, seeking to convert the polytheistic Tongans to Christianity. By the early 1800s, many Tongan chiefs had converted, leading to conflicts with traditionalist groups. The Tongan Civil War occurred in the 1830s between Christian converts allied to the Tu'i Kanakupolu and traditionalists loyal to the Tu'i Tonga Empire. The war was fueled by old rivalries between bloodlines and resulted in violent battles with clubs and spears, causing great loss of life. The Christian faction prevailed with help from foreign missionaries. George Tupu I became the first Christian king of a united Tonga in 1845. Later, King George Tupu II enacted the Constitution of Tonga in 1875, establishing a constitutional government and uniting the archipelago as a Polynesian kingdom. Tonga entered into a treaty of friendship with Britain in 1900, recognizing its independence. It became a protected state of the British Empire in 1900 and gained full independence in 1970. Tonga has a small open island economy that relies heavily on agriculture, fishing, tourism, and foreign aid. Its GDP currently stands at around $460 million, according to World Bank data. Agriculture makes up over two-thirds of Tonga's total exports. Key crops include squash, coconuts, bananas, and vanilla beans. Tongan farmers also raise cattle, pigs, and poultry for domestic consumption. However, agricultural productivity is restricted by primitive methods and cyclones that frequently damage crops. Commercial fishing of tuna is a vital industry for both local consumption and exports. Annual tuna catches bring in significant foreign revenue. However, rising fuel costs and illegal fishing in Tongan waters threatens long-term sustainability. Tourism is Tonga's strongest source of foreign exchange, drawing visitors to its coral beaches and rich Polynesian culture. However, Growth has been hampered by a lack of accommodation capacity and average cultural sites for tourists. Most visitors come from New Zealand or Australia for short stays. Remittances from Tongans working abroad are equivalent to over 35% of the country's GDP. Australia and New Zealand also provide the majority of direct foreign aid assisting in public administration programs or infrastructure projects like bridge and road construction. The islands of Tonga have a rich cultural heritage full of skilled artistry and craftsmanship. An essential tradition is tapa, or paper mulberry bark cloth. This versatile material is made by beating soaked mulberry bark into sheets and then painted with symbolic natural dyes. Tapa is used for clothing, wall hangings, bedding, and ceremonial gifts exchanged at events like marriages. Woven mats are integral in Tongan life, created from pandanus leaves and other natural fibers. They have many daily purposes, but the finest royal mats are reserved to honor major milestones. These exquisite mats can take years to expertly weave into patterns and acquire prestige over time. 
Before Western contact, Tongans carved wood into decorative and practical items like bowls, war clubs, tools, and sculptures. Common motifs included local plants, animals, and deities. The quality of workmanship made Tongan war clubs a prized exchange item. If you enjoyed this video on Tonga, you'll love this next one.